Okay, people, cookie recipe assignment. This is how it looks. The theory part, the part you need to finish before holiday break. I'm giving you five recipe options. You could also choose another recipe if you wish, but you're going to have to provide a picture of the recipe. If one of these doesn't work for you, you got a favorite recipe you want to use. That's fine. It needs to have at least five ingredients in it. You have three questions that you need to answer with that recipe. I'm going to do two example problems that are like the questions you have to answer. Type of questions. There's going to be 1,200 people at an event. You want to make enough cookies so there's 1.5 for each guest. How many of each ingredient do you need? All right, I'm going to show you how that works. And example two, I've only got half a cup of flour left. How many cookies can I make with that? And how much of an each ingredient will I use? How much of each ingredient will I use? So this is how this is going to work. You look on your, uh, let's go, uh, I'm going to use two different recipes for this. So sugar cookies for the first one. Here's our recipe. Okay. Now, my suggestion, you can use calculator. You can calculate all this stuff. But my suggestion is going to be that we use a spreadsheet. So we're going to type all this information into the spreadsheet couple pieces of information that I want. I want to know, all right, this says it makes about 30 cookies. So I want to know the total number of cookies. I also want to know what are all the ingredients and how much, how much is it each ingredient. I'm going to do this. Number in column B, units in column C. The reason for that is so that I can use formulas. Now, there's this royal icing. I'm not going to include the icing in my calculations. We're just going to look at cookies. No icing for our cookies this time. I have at least five ingredients, so I'm all good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients. Okay, so this is the original recipe, 30 cookies. We use this, these ingredients, right? Now, let's look at my situation. My situation is I'm trying to cater an event. It's going to be 1,200 people there, and I want to have enough cookies so there's one and a half per guest. All right, it's typical when you're in a kitchen, baking food, making food, the number of guests, and a multiplier for, for the number of servings you expect for an average guest. Okay, That's a typical type of calculation that we do in the hospitality industry. So how many cookies do I want? I want 1,200 times 1 1.5. That's 1,200 and half of that, 600 that's 1,800 cookies. I want 1,800 cookies. All right, I'm going to want to see a calculation like that somewhere on your slide. Any calculations that you're doing, I want to see. My recipe only calls for 30 cookies. So I'm going to need to multiply by something to get my 1,800 cookies. And you could guess and check. 30 times 7? Nope, a lot more than that. 30 times 30? Oh, equals 30 times 30, uh, 900, not enough. All right, 30 times 60 equals 30 times 60, 1,800. That's what I want, okay? So my multiplier is times 60. Now, I could have also found that by dividing, right? If I do 1,800 divided by 30, that'll tell me what do I need to multiply by, 60. All right, 1,800. I'm going to need to multiply my recipe times 60. So for each of these ingredients, I'm going to want to multiply times 60. And if you remember, that's what sheets is very good for. If you want to do the same calculation over and over again, I'm going to say equals the number in column B times 60. Now, they're telling me autofill. They're going to do this for me, but uh, I can hit this check. Wow, they're getting super fancy, taking away your work. I'm going to copy that, 
paste it to the rows below and it will show me exactly what I need to be doing. I need to be having for my particular catering situation, I need to have these things. I need 150 cups of flour, 15 teaspoons of baking powder, 15 teaspoons of salt, 45 cups of sugar, 90 sticks of butter, 60 eggs, and 60 teaspoons of vanilla. Now, truth be told, in the industry, right, we're going to convert some of these units up. So we're not going to be actually dishing out 15 teaspoons. Okay, you can convert teaspoons to another unit. That's, that's going to be a different lesson for a different day. All right, conversions within culinary, different lesson, different day. For right now, I'm cool with these answers. And if you do that, you can just copy. Now take the screenshot, slide my answer in here. Bang. How much of each ingredient do I need? It's highlighted in yellow. Okay, and remember we had that other calculation. Here's my other situation, and I'm actually going to switch recipes to do this one. I've only got half a cup of flour left. How many cookies can I make with that? Let's look at this oatmeal cookie recipe. Oatmeal raisin cookie. Look at this. They need one and a half cups of flour to, to make this recipe. One and a half cups of flour to make this recipe. So I don't have enough to do this recipe, but I could, if I cut all of the ingredients by the same factor, I can still make this recipe. So how do I, what do I need to divide by to get from one and a half down to just one half? So I'm supposed to use one and a half cups, but I'm only actually going to be able to handle one half cup. All right, so how do I get from one and a half down to one half? Again, I could do this. I could do this as a multiplier. All right, 0 0.5 divided by 1.5. All right, so I could multiply by 0 0.3333333. That's going to get me 1.5 times that will get me 0 0.5. Or I could do this as a division, which is how I will prefer to do it. 1.5 divided by divided by 0 0.5. All right, I need to divide by three to get from 1.5 to 0 0.5. So I'm gonna, again, get my ingredient list. So we got our ingredient list. This one is a lot longer. We're gonna wanna divide all of those items by three. So equals thing in column one, divided by three, enter, copy that, paste it, and we've got our ingredient list. Now, a couple things on here, all right? It is not reasonable that we're gonna do two thirds of an egg, so we're probably actually gonna still do one egg in that situation. Now, here's gonna be the other thing. Real cooks, real cooks don't use decimals. They want fractions for all of these things. So, if you already know how to change something to a fraction, 0 0.5 is one half, you could change it yourself. 0 0.3 repeating is one third, okay? If 0.25 is one fourth, if you don't know how to change something into a fraction, what you can do actually is, you type in Google, convert to fraction. This thing right here, calculatorsoup.com, a little helpful. You can enter any decimal, so 0.3 repeating, 0 0.3. If you have a repeating piece to your decimal, you're going to want to say that I have one decimal place repeating, and then calculate. All right, they'll tell you one third. One third is the 0.3 repeating is the same as one third. Okay, 0.16 repeating. 0.16, still have one decimal place repeating. That's 
happens to be one-sixth as a decimal. Fractions are just easier to work with when we're dealing with food. Okay, so again, all these little teaspoon measurements, if you actually were going to make this, uh, you're, you're kind of guesstimating about the size of it. A pinch of this, a pinch of that. This is going to be the recipe that I do if I am running low on flour and unable to make the full recipe. Also, though, one of the questions that got asked was, I've only got half a cup of flour left. How many cookies can I make? All right, so again, I'm going to need to look on this recipe. This says it makes about two dozen cookies. So I need to divide that number by three also. How many cookies? Two dozen. That's 24. All right, two dozen is 24. 24 divided by three is eight cookies will be made. That is practical applications with the mathematics of cooking. Now, you have three problems like that that you need to answer. And am I going to be mean to you and say that you have to use a different recipe for each problem? Nah, you can use the same recipe over and over again for each problem. There's my answers. Situation finished. All right, you got to answer one about catering for 700 people. Answer one about there's only there's a certain amount of sugar left that you want to use up. It's going to be more than what is in your recipe. And one like the one I just did where you're running low on ingredients and you have to adjust the recipe downward. Okay, it's all multiplying and dividing based on the ingredients in your recipe.